Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to your weekly psychic terror reading. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. So Pisces, going to look at the energy of this week, tuning into the most important messages, what you need to know. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. All right, Pisces, in the past, I'm getting that um, there is someone you were in a soul contract with, someone you felt very connected with in the past. It feels like... Um, you gave away your power a lot of times of decision. Uh, somehow you were, you were, <laughs> I'm hearing brainwashed. Um, in growing up that somehow you don't see things correctly or you're not perceiving things correctly. You make bad decisions. What I'm getting is that you don't see things correctly. You didn't see things how they wanted you to see things. Maybe you're seeing the truth or you're seeing things from your point of view, from your vantage point. And that that's a blessing that we're here to be individuals. And so, but over time, that created a, a belief that you don't make good decisions. You make bad decisions and that's not true. But it feels like in this connection with someone else, you gave your power of decision away. Not always, but there's a lot of going to someone else to strategize and make plans. It looks like at some point, this no longer worked for you in the connection. It feels like you started taking your power back you started seeing things the way I'm going to see things the way I'm seeing them. It feels like you gave yourself permission to take your power. I'm no longer seeing that I make bad decisions. It feels like you, you became more grounded. You started... Um, it feels like at the basis of this is somehow... A spiritual or emotional knowing how to um, work with your emotions it feels like before this people were gaslighting you left and right making you feel inadequate and so wow you you decided to stop abandoning yourself and giving your power away realizing that feels like you, you start realizing your worth and your value and who you're going to share your energy with. And if it, it feels like you're intuitive. You're tuning into your intuition. So a lot's happening in the past to get to where we are now. It's, um, it's like you're no longer attracted to energies that don't feel good so you're not um ignoring your own feelings your own intuition your own thoughts you are trusting yourself in a very powerful way wow 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 <laughs> all right pisces in current energy we have the nine of swords in reverse you're getting out of a nightmare Releasing beliefs that no longer serve you. Maybe it, it also like that inner critic. This might be specific for someone with uh, autoimmune issues. It looks like letting go of beliefs, uh, like constantly criticizing your body, uh, your emotions, you. It feels like others have bombarded you with criticism and so instead of not liking them 
and criticizing them. You might do a little of that, but it's like I'm I'm criticizing myself. I'm not enough. Looks like you're letting go of that. It's, it feels like you're stepping into I'm enough. I'm enough. I might not be there enough or not, but that doesn't matter. It's it's how I perceive me that matters. Okay, you're getting out of a nightmare of heartbreak. It's, uh, uh, this is, oh, I can feel this at the back of your heart space. So since it's at the back of the heart space, it looks like you've cleared a lot of this woundedness. It's, it's letting go out of the back of your heart space. So it feels like putting others before you has been uh, a habit, a cycle, a pattern. And you're really seeing this, how when you put others in front of you, maybe you're also a, a, a people pleaser. You're healing that need to please others so you can get validation that I'm good enough. Instead, it feels like cutting out the middleman. Okay, I'm good enough. And I accept that not everybody's going to like me or accept me. And that's okay, too, because not everybody do I like and accept. And so I'm not going to fight against or resist and push against what I don't like. I'm just going to release it. Let it move on in peace so it can find whatever and whoever matches their energy. I'm moving towards what matches me. And it looks like there's a timeline right now that's dismantling all around you. It's a timeline of chronic heartbreak. Wow. It does look very, it's like the timeline is, is completely dismantling around you. You're stepping into a period of success. A time when you're, oh, you're, Right now, you are really good at letting go of what no longer serves you. It feels like you're really tuning into your intuition. Anything that's not truthful, honest, anything that doesn't resonate, anything that has that dissonant feeling of lie or lack that feels heavy and dense, you're letting that go. Wow. Yeah, you're, wow, wow, wow. You're letting go of a very painful cycle. You're ending a painful cycle. And it feels like you've already started a new cycle. So endings are, or beginnings are disguised in endings. And so it feels like you are already in a beginning as what is tearing down what I'm just seeing all this destruction beliefs uh, that no longer serve you very quantum and you're already stepping into this energy of fun of love of surrounding yourself with people who really celebrate you as you have learned how to celebrate yourself instead of giving your power away it feels like um, people really recognizing you, really understanding the value that you have. You have really learned how, this is the second time, um, Pisces, that your deep emotions, Mariana Trench deep water emotions, are an advantage right now you learning how to lead yourself through these really intense emotional feelings grief mostly grief letting go of expectations uh, disappointment anger frustration resentment Ooh, a lot of resentment you are a master at this I'm hearing you are mastering this. It feels like you're mastering yourself as well. 
there's definitely those dreamy type of qualities around you. Wow. All right, Pisces, what's hidden this week is the Six of Swords. I feel like you're already, you've already been moving to calmer waters. The waters just get more calm and more, wow, these are really beautiful waters. There's a, what is this? This is, oh, it's a blue, it's an aqua blue, kind of like my bedspread behind me. It looks like you, if I'm looking at the beginning of your journey, the choppy waters and dark waters and cold, and it feels like you just keep six of swordsing to calmer and calmer waters. And now they're beautiful and blue and uh, Mediterranean. Yeah, Mediterranean kind of waters, that type of color. Wow. Wow. I, I'm getting lost in the energy of it. Okay. There's, it feels like you're, there's something you're needing to see about someone around you. It doesn't feel like a very productive time. It feels like you're taking care of your body. It feels like slowing down. It feels, so in the environment around this time of year, there's a lot of socializing, but it feels like your body is saying, I want to hibernate. And it feels like you're listening to your body. You're not uh, allowing others to tell you what you should do, like people shoulding you. There's something about what's going on with someone who is financially inept, greedy, more concerned with their appearance. This could be you in that you're having an ego death. You're going through an ego death and you're walking away from very unsatisfying ways of being. If this person, excuse me, is showing up in your 3D, it feels like you're you're seeing someone very differently. It does feel like someone from your past that you've walked away from. And it feels like you're just detached. You're not activated or I feel like there's some emotional kind of like disappointment still lingering but you're working through that and letting go. There's something that the universe wants you to see about what's going on. It feels like you're very detached from this energy, but um, I'm not sure what this is. It might be different for each of you. This is a group reading, so that's as close as I can get. So, all right. Pisces, the possible outcome this week is the magician in reverse. This is someone manifesting from fear, control, pain. Yeah. So it looks like those who manifest from fear and control, they don't want things to change. They want, they, they want to Oh, I feel the like the need to they're feeling very unstable within and so they try to control their environment so and, and they can't do that anymore and so they're feeling a bit reckless you're stepping into a very joyful period of time. It feels like you already have been feeling this energetically. Um, you're very connected with source. People are looking to you for advice. Um, yeah, they're seeing you as like this, you've had this new beginning 
and you've done it, you might not feel this way, but this is a perspective from people around you. They're seeing you as very joyful and enjoying life. And I feel like at times you definitely are embracing this. I, w- I want to have fun. I want to enjoy life. I want to create with joy. I've been through a lot. And um, yeah, I'm resilient. It feels like you have a lot to teach others from where you've been. You haven't allowed what you've been through to make you bitter. And so people want to, how are you doing that? It looks like there's someone coming in who's emotionally manipulative and a player. This could be two different people. It feels like one person feels like someone who's who doesn't want to see you succeed and there's something about you succeeding and uh, being seen as a go-to person for answers of any kind like this does not fit their worldview and it's very upsetting why are you oh this is flip why are you doing so well when I have projected all my crap onto you you should be miserable. It doesn't it doesn't fit my worldview that you're happy and without me. That's what that is. You should be miserable because I'm miserable. So this is misery loves company. Someone doesn't want to see you succeed. It doesn't fit their worldview. This actually could be quite a few people. So if you're feeling these energies, this resistant energy in your space, instead of projecting it back, throwing it back at them, I'm getting, if you feel that activation, even if you don't know of, you haven't witnessed in the 3D of someone feeling this way, but you do feel it energetically, like someone talking about you to others, projecting their stuff onto you, take that energy, take that lack, take that jealousy and that envy, all those uncomfortable feelings and it feels like just playing and changing it and releasing it into the quantum field as play and fun and love, what you would prefer. Yeah, if someone's being sneaky. Any messages, any last messages for Pisces around this sneaky, sneaky behavior? Anything Pisces needs to know, most important messages. There we go. Just focus on, just focus on you. Focus on nurturing this new beginning. Remember, if you've been having a lot of deconstruction and tearing down of your life, that is the disguise. You're already in your new beginning. Focus on what you want to bring into the world. Let go of the past. Focus. She is so focused. Her loving, nurturing energy like a plant. Focusing our child. Focusing that loving attention on what you're creating. Be present. And know, and know that that you are going to experience this new beginning, experience these blessings, the love that you are sharing with your new beginning. It's, uh, it's like watering and creating an environment for you um, where you're going to be learning, learning a lot of new things, new and exciting things about yourself and your world. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Pisces, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. 
absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful reading. Take care.